Hi everybody, it's me Jessie. Welcome back to my channel today. I am so excited for this video. Um, as you can see, I have beautiful little yellowtail snapper. Now this came right out of the Gulf of Mexico. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Um, and it was caught locally and I just got it from my um, the local fish market, the one actually that I used to work at. Um, so shout out to the Prawn Broker restaurant. They have the freshest fish in town. They're great. Um, anyway, so thank you to everybody at the Prawn Broker for hooking me up with this cute. I have two little fish here and um, they're beautiful. They're, they're really, um, they're gonna be pretty small fillets, but that's okay because I only eat a small portion anyway. So yeah, as you can see, they're so cute little tiny um, fish, and I'm gonna be showing you how I fillet a fish, um, and how I used to, how I was taught actually. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm gonna skin the fish as well from the skin, so I don't need to worry about scaling it. So uh, let's get started, I'm so excited. They're so cute. All right, anyway, put him to the side for a second. Now, um, I've already started, um, I started filming this video in, on my tablet and it's shut off, so I had to redo it. So I've already made my first cut. Um, it's going to be right here from, from the bottom to the top of the head. And you can either cut the whole head off or you can just leave it on. I'm going to leave it on. So one cut here and then your second cut for me, the way I do it is starting at the top here. You're going to put your knife in and bring it underneath and you're going to go right along the backbone here like this and you're going to see once you do that you can just lift this top and you can start to slowly with your sharp knife just go down the backbone like this and you're going to come to this rib bone. You just lift it up just a little bit and get your knife in there and just feel where the bone is and then just drag it through like this right along there okay so that's gonna be I need to sharpen this knife boy. so here's your first fillet there's a there's a pretty little fillet this is the belly flap right here which is gonna get cut off so first first I'm just gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna there's the one side and then I'm gonna flip it flip it over and I'm gonna do it opposite. So then I'm gonna take my, my knife again. I have like a piece of paper towel just to wipe. There's a lot of scales, so I'm just wiping that off. So then um, again, I'm gonna come underneath these flippers here. And I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm actually wasting a lot, but you can feel where the, the head stops and then the flesh starts. So you're just gonna wanna cut along that line like this. Start here, come, oops, come up along the backbone, and then again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just go with my knife backwards, and we're going to scrape. You can hear me scraping right along the bone, get real close, and then you find the the center bone there, go right over that. And then again, you find your, your rib bone. Just be gentle as well too because the snapper flesh is really kind of soft sometimes. The fresher it is, the better, but you wanna eat it like right away. Right over the rib bone, as close as you can. And then you have your other beautiful little fillet. And you should have a fish that's pretty clean. Um, if you want to save it and use it uh, for stock, I guess you could do that, but I'm not going to because I'm not going to be making fish stock. So it's going to go in the garbage. So yeah. Now, as you can see, my cutting board's a mess, but that's okay. So then I'm going to take my, my little filet And you can use the same, th these fillets are pretty small, so I'm gonna use the same knife. Starting at the tail, I'm gonna cut, make, an, make a small little cut. And you can feel where the skin, the, 
the flesh and the skin is. I'm gonna hold the end of the tail and I'm just gonna wiggle. I'm gonna wiggle the, ooh, I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> I'm going to wiggle the skin of the <laughs> snapper, <laughs> but and then you have your skin here and then you can always clean it up a little bit after you do that. Let me do the other one too. Okay, I'm gonna put it flat and try to work fairly quickly. My, I wish my knife was sharper because like that. Okay, so now what you're left with I don't get scales. So now what you're left with is your beautiful filet, totally skinned like this. And what you want to do now is feel, you're going to feel up the middle of the fish right here. You can see there's like a reddish line here. There's, there's a pin bone in there. So you want to go ahead and take that out. So the way I do it is just, you kind of run your finger up till you feel where the bone stops. And then you go as close to that line as possible and just get that little bit. That little bit of bone out like that. And then what you're left with is a beautiful, a beautiful little snapper filet. This is probably about a five, four to five ounce piece maybe. Perfect for me. A lot of places serve eight ounce portions, but again, um, any little bits you have on there that you want to take out, I'm just pin boning this, feeling where the bone is like that. That little bit is all bone. And then you have a beautiful snapper fillet like this. How pretty is that, huh? Okay. So here's my my second one. How cute. I love them. They're so adorable. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do the second one on camera. I need to sharpen my knife. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know if you'd learn anything because I needed the camera to kind of be on top of the of what I was doing in order for you to see it. But I just wanted you to see how beautiful the seafood is that we have down here in Florida. It's amazing. And um, I'm going to cook this up tonight for my dinner. I'm so excited. So thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and um, you can comment down below. If you so desire, um, just tell me what I'm doing wrong or right or whatever. I appreciate every all the comments. So uh, please subscribe to my channel if you if you like this video. I appreciate uh, all your all your views and everything. So thanks, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.